On the 10th of August, we spoke about Essex Police Constable Charlie Thompson, who was then facing court after a mandatory referral from the force after an allegation of assault was made against him. Thompson was attending a traffic stop in Basildon in Essex on January the 19th of this year on the 0127 near the Mayflower, Mayflower Retail Park. At the time of my last report, there was no information about the alleged assault, but after an IOPC investigation, a file was passed to the CPS who authorised the charge contrary to Section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. Well, Thompson attended court this week and it was heard that he had gone to assist colleagues who had stopped a Volkswagen Golf with the driver suspecting of using a mobile phone whilst driving. Because using a mobile phone whilst driving certainly requires more than two police constables, doesn't it? Apparently, there was a scuffle and the driver was handcuffed after being parva sprayed. Thompson said he was alone in his vehicle with colleagues behind him in another vehicle when they decided to make a traffic stop. Thompson said, there's a very specific rustling noise that comes through a radio when a fight's going on. I'm attuned to that noise. He told the court that he heard the noise and his colleague did not respond to a call on the radio, so he decided to go back to the scene. He said that when he arrived at the scene, his colleagues appeared shell-shocked and his main concern was the A127. It's a fast road, he said. I formed the opinion we're too close to the road and there was absolutely nothing stopping him, the suspect, getting up if he wanted to. Thompson then said that he decided to take control of the situation and knelt down next to the suspect whose legs were not restrained at all. He was more than capable of getting up, Thompson said. He was a very large man and could easily overpower me if he wanted to. So he said he gently placed his hand on the man's shoulder just to gain some element of control. At this point, the man is said to have started flaring up again and made a very sharp turn to the left with his head. Thompson went on to say that I felt the tension in his body. I felt he was going to get up. I was scared. I thought he's going to assault me. He's going to push me in the road. He's going to headbutt me. He's an absolute mountain of a man. I had to ensure I didn't allow him to get up. He said he managed to get the man to the ground using his arm and body weight to successfully do so. He said that he had put his knee on the man's head, but told the court this was for no more than two seconds before the man stopped resisting, before holding him down with his hands again. At this point, leg restraints were put on the man and Thompson said he went to sit the man up, go through the escalation process, when the man said, roll me off to the side, mate. Thompson said he took this to mean he wanted to go back on the ground and he put him back on the ground. Yeah, because roll me off to the side really makes anybody think, put me on the ground, Prosecutor Michaela Williams said by the time the defendant arrived, the incident appeared to have de-escalated and there was no need for the officer to place a hand on the man. She claimed that Thompson went in like a bull in a china shop. During the incident, the detained man chipped a tooth and said there was no reason for anyone to be coming near me. He said, I was sitting down. I couldn't move. I wasn't being aggressive to anyone. Following the incident, Thompson was put on restricted duties and a referral made to the IOPC. The trial has been adjourned until Monday the 28th at Chelmsford Magistrates Court, where the court will hear closing arguments. Thompson has been released on bail until his next appearance.